inorganic contaminants. Inorganic contaminants are compounds that typically do not contain the element carbon in their molecular structure. Sources of dissolved contaminants result from natural sources such as natural elements which occur in geology. They also occur as a result of human activity. An example of this is outfall runoff from industry. Because of risks associated with inorganic contaminants causing acute poisoning, cancer, and other health effects, state and federal governments regulate water distributed to the community to ensure inorganic levels do not reach toxic levels. Five examples of inorganic contaminants include asbestos, lead, copper, mercury, and nitrite. Because of health risks to exposure to asbestos, most uses of it were banned in the United States by the EPA in 1989. Prior to this, it was used heavily in water pipes construction, sewage disposal systems, and irrigation systems. It was also a primary source of roofing materials and friction-resistant materials such as automobile brakes. As reported by the EPA, asbestos can cause cancer from a lifetime of exposure. Asbestos is non-biodegradable in aquatic organisms. The fibers are not broken down to other com compounds in the environment and, therefore, can remain in water environment for decades or longer. Lead The EPA estimates that approximately 600 groundwater systems and about 215 surface suppliers may have water leaving the treatment plant with lead levels greater than 0 0.005 milligrams per liter. These two sources together indicate that less than 1% of the public water systems in the United States have water entering the distribution system with lead levels greater than 0 0.005 milligrams per liter. This means that less than 3% of the people that receive their drinking water from public water systems can be affected. Low level exposure to lead can result in adverse health problems affecting red blood cell chemistry delays in normal physical and mental development in babies and young children, slight deficits in the attention span, hearing, and learning abilities of children, and slight increases in blood pressure of some adults. Chronic exposure has caused kidney disease and cancer. Although lead is rarely found in source water, it does enter tap water through corrosion of plumbing materials. Homes built before 1986 are more likely to have lead pipes, fixtures and lead solder. However, the EPA does caution the public regarding newer homes as well. Technically, legally, lead-free plumbing can still be compromised of as much as 8% lead. Still today, unhealthy exposure to lead can result from water being exposed to brass or chrome-plated brass faucets and fixtures because they may leach significant amounts of lead into drinking water. The occurrence can also be magnified when hot tap water is used for drinking purposes. Exposure to lead can cause permanent damage to the nervous system, especially in children and pets. According to the EPA, the main source of exposure to lead are ingesting paint chips and inhaling dust. EPA estimates that 10 to 20 percent of human exposure to lead may come from lead in drinking water. Infants who consume mostly mixed formula can receive 40 to 60 percent of their exposure to lead from drinking water. The Centers for Disease Control named lead poisoning as the number one preventable environmental disease affecting our nation's children. Now go back, fill in the blanks, take your quiz, and you may move on to the next session.